Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn This with Mahesh. Today we'll try to prepare ourselves for a common question which you see in Google. So if you get a chance to be interviewed in Google for roles like customer engineer, partner engineer or anything related to Google Cloud, right? Uh, there could be a possible one question which you may see. So what is that? We'll try to prepare for that question well because these questions you need to have little preparation. So on the fly answering could be a little tricky one. So we'll see how this can be prepared well with the help of chat GPT. So before we get into it, as usual, a quick shout out. So the professional cloud architect training the customized one uh, almost four classes are over few more slots are remaining if you are interested email me or whatsapp me on this number same on the similar lines data engineer so if you are interested do the same uh, and also uh, associate cloud engineer if you are interested do let me know happy to uh, share more details on that and also planning to have a weekend batch for some of the stuff uh, i'll put the survey link in the description and if you have any questions related to uh, job offerings how the market is related to google cloud or if you have a question say for example you have conflict with certain stuff and you don't know how to proceed further so do let me know i'll be happy to um, get engaged and provide you some inputs on that so with that let's get into that common question what is that common question so uh, as i mentioned if you get a chance to be interviewed in Google, specifically for Google Cloud related uh, jobs, it could be customer engineer, partner engineer, uh, something related to in that uh, this thing and where a technical engineer like a technical lead something of that sort so uh, these roles is something which i have seen very common custom engineer and partner engineer so the speciality with this role is you are going to either interact with a customer or you are going to interact with a partner a technology partner so there could be sometimes you may meet up with a few people who are not that tech savvy uh, so in that case, uh, you cannot explain certain stuff using jargons. So you should be in a position to explain certain terms. It could be something like BigQuery, Kubernetes concepts in a very, very simple layman term. So if you can do that, um, then definitely uh, the customer is going to understand it. Maybe the partners are going to understand it. It's going to make the deal move faster. Right. That is a whole thing which Google wanted to know. So how quickly you can or in a how in an innovative way, in a very funny way, how can you and uh, give uh, an explanation of a specific product so that is what they wanted to see so having a little good preparation before the exam would be a good choice so that is what we wanted to uh, get some help from chat gpt and we can make some stories behind it so we can add some little extra stuffs spices to it and make our response more innovative so let's look into one such example so the first example is summarize the concept of BigQuery, which is uh, the enterprise data warehouse in Google Cloud in a fun and an engaging way for a six year old kid. Now you cannot use jargons to the kid. So how do you explain this? So it should be something where you can talk about something magic, some kind of a cartoon character, some toys, chocolates, those kind of stuff. Cookies are the one which could be helpful. So let's see what is an explanation which or a simple example which uh, ChatGPT has given. So, so hey, here, imagine you have a magical box called BigQuery. Uh, the box is super smart and can find answers to all sorts of questions you might have so kids definitely will have lots of questions the why factor which uh, they ask a lot so it's like having a big library of information at your fingertips so inside this magical box there are lots of uh, lots and lots of tiny drawers uh, so you can connect these drawers as uh, uh, tables what you have so uh, the entire box you can treat it as a data set uh, small small drawers each tables is what you can consider as so there can have numbers words pictures so this is where you wanted to connect it with the data type there so numeric float um, then words like string uh, pictures you cannot do it uh, so because we don't have a blob object but you can <laughs> you can basically have a, a string which can connect to a gcs bucket something of that sort you can think of now let's say you want to know how many cookies your friend ate at the party so some kind of an analysis because BigQuery means analytics right so you may ask BigQuery search all the drawer and count the cookies for you uh, it's like having a super fast cookie counter good right so you are going to get an analytics like how many cookies your friend ate so what is left 
So minus that if you do it or some kind of an aggregation function which is what BigQuery can definitely go with the analytics part. So but wait there's more BigQuery doesn't uh, count cookies. It's not a very simple tool so you can also drink uh, you can do amazing things. It can organize information in a different way by color, shape, size, partitioning and clustering concept in a very simple way they're saying. So put all um, uh, brown color cookies in one uh, drawer. So something of that sort. If you want to know uh, how many chocolate chips were eaten or how many sugar uh, are left, so you should be able to sort it all those things. Uh, not only that, can also do some cool calculations. They can add up all the cookies, subtract all those things. The uh, the aggregation capabilities of it. Uh, so so BigQuery is like a magical box. Helps you to find a good amount of information. Uh, find information, count things, do calculations very fast. So it's like having a your having own super smart assistant to help you with the calculation. Remember, just adjust the language. Yeah. So just based on the language or something, based on the age of the child, you change it. Maybe uh, if it's to uh, a teenager, maybe cookies may not be example. So you may have to change it little there. So this is one example which I wanted to talk. So we talked about six year old. Uh, Kid. So now uh, let's multiply it by 10. So let's make it as uh, uh, summer is a concept of Kubernetes to a 60 year old grandma. So let's see what is the response which uh, uh, chat GPT is going to give it. So let's wait for it. Okay, so Okay, so imagine you have a big garden with lots of uh, different types of flowers. So it's something trying to compare. Uh, with garden so you are taking care of the garden but sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the uh, flowers and make sure they are healthy and this thing uh, okay think kubernetes as a helpful garden assistant so it's like a friendly robot that takes care of it beautiful so helps you to manage and organize uh, your flowers in smart way it knows which flower needs more water which needs more sunlight uh, even uh, when they need more extra uh, okay even when they need more extra uh, food plant it keeps an eye on all the flowers and make sure they are growing well so this is very simple right so in kubernetes uh, there could be some work workloads which are memory intensive um, compute intensive so how do you do that so you are going to create a kind of namespace specifically allocate them so that is one way of doing it or when you are creating the deployment object or stateful object under the pod section you are going to mention the memory uh, vcpu uh, details so that way it is going to decide it right so that is what they are trying to connect it here so if one of the flange is getting too much sun or get our uh, um, starting to wind so we'll notice quickly and uh, move it to a shady place so um, if you also need to track of all the plant needs and make sure they met like a personalized garden reach for each and every flowers in your garden so uh, taking care of individual stuff say for example right so this is something which you can connect with a uh, pod in a controller object. It could be deployment, stateful set, uh, cron job, job or anything. If uh, a pod is crashed because of the self-healing capability, it's going to come up again, right? So something of that sort where it does this automatically. So that is something which you can think of. Uh, but the best part of Kubernetes is to uh, handle lots of levels at the same time. So auto scaling. Uh, so it's like uh, multitasking and making sure each uh, flower gets the care it needs. Beautiful. So even if you have a big garden with hundreds of flowers, Kubernetes can take. So depending on your uh, need. So along with Kubernetes with uh, Istio could be also a good choice in this kind of a case. And nutshell is like a, a helpful uh, robot garden that manages and takes care of your other things. So beautiful, right? So gardener. So at that age, basically, they would be interested uh, in more of gardening, the nature, those kind of stuff. That's a good example. So, uh, and also this is a very important one. So make sure you change it according to the need. So that's going to help you out. And uh, as I mentioned, so it's always good you regenerate a couple of times so that you get a better response. So just don't stick on to one response. So regenerating can give you a little more uh, idea so here i have tried to regenerate it because i have seen some better responses uh, but the gardener tap onto it and prepare it so have a well prepared answer so that you can give it on the fly because uh, this is not something which you uh, would have faced in the past so having something could be really helpful so here imagine it's a big garden okay think of uh, okay something similar 
helps you to manage a special kind of garden called as cluster so okay good uh, so you have little computers nodes okay little example good so like this if you try to regenerate it definitely you will get some more stuffs so so that's the video which i wanted to share uh, so uh, prepare well if you are getting an interview call from uh, google uh, not only from google from any company so having some preparations and having this kind of stuff would definitely help you out to give a little innovative answer uh, and some kind of an analogy so that's the video which i wanted to share hope it is helpful thank you for watching